Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm, I was going to say, coming to you with Category 6, Eye of the Storm, but I, I'm, I'm not trying to drop a hurricane on you. This is not Wizard of Oz, though I'm Australian. Wow. Um, there's just bad connotations everywhere here. The name of the puzzle is Category 6, Eye of the Storm, by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. Read into that what you will. Um, before I get on to the puzzle, there's a couple of things I want to go into. First of all, thanks to Deco Boco for um, a super thanks, um, probably now over a week ago, but I've been recording, as everyone knows, um, probably um, fairly sporadically recently. I'm trying to record in batches and then release the videos um, sort of I'm kind of just releasing weekdays at the moment um, because my recording time and everything is all <laughs> weird um, and I'm just taking the extra time to do some personal stuff. So that's one thing. Um, the second thing is I wanted to call out the Sudoku Adventure series, um, mostly on Rank's channel. Um, so I will provide a link below and maybe even above to a playlist um that ranks on Ranks' channel where he's covering daily a series of six by six Sudoku called the Adventure Series. Um, I also did a stream covering the first 14 of these puzzles and I'll probably do more streams of them, but Ranks is the one who is um, covering them first um, as a daily series and they are really, really good puzzles. Um, they're they're uh, only, they are six by six um, showcasing some beautiful Sudoku logic in a very concise way. Different to the problem series, which is designed to be a focus on a particular logic trick, these are um, easier puzzles that you can um, explore some depth of uh, Sudoku logic based around a single constraint. Um, and to my mind, they're actually kind of more focused than the genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, so between the adventure series, which I would absolutely use as a starting off point, um, yeah, then the Sudoku problems and everything, there's so many ways of just exploring um, Sudoku in, with some just quick exercises now. It's just fantastic. But uh, definitely check those out on Ranks' channel and if you want to, also on my streams. Um, so they're the things I wanted to call out. Um, now, looking at this puzzle, um, I want to make sure that the pencil mark checker is off, but um, yeah, uh, this one I've been told is easy. I did get permission to use it, but I was, um, I'd was i been told it's also an easy puzzle, so I am not going to. Um, so what are the rules on this one? Normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Cells separated by a black dot must be in a 1 to 2 ratio. Uh, one must be double the other, and cells separated by a white dot um, must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. So it would be perfectly fine for these to be consecutive, theoretically. Um, they're the rules we've got. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. One thing I am going to show off, actually, is if um, this isn't in the full version, but it is in the beta version. So I'm going to reload this puzzle in the beta version of Sudoku Pad. Um, and hopefully this will be on live soon, is... If you use the, um, there's a conflict checker, which is a simplified conflict checker, and I might actually use this. Um, this simplified conflict checker, which Sven has developed and hopefully will go live soon, will only check for conflicts with, row, uh, do pencil mark checking for row, column, and box logic, and will completely ignore all other advanced logic. So um, that means it can help you with your scanning, but not give you things like killer cage logic, or if there's lines in the grid or anything like that. So that could be a useful thing. So even if um, normally it would turn around and say, well, you've got non-consecutive digits next to each other on a consecutive dot, it will ignore that. All it will do is give you direct conflicts. Like if I was to put uh, uh, sixes in here, it will give me that I've got a six pointing at a six, but it will not give me, like if I've got four six in here, well, that's a bad example, but if I've got um, uh, seven nine in here, it won't actually point out that that could be a problem or something like that. I don't, I've never actually played with it much on consecutive dots, but um, it turns off all the advanced logic checking. So that's a good thing. I'm going to restart the puzzle, restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. While I was explaining the rules, I did notice this box is incredibly constrained because this is actually a run of nine consecutive dots. So the ends have to be one nine, the next ones have to be two eight, the middle ones have to be three seven, the next ones have to be four six, and then this has to be a five. 
um, simply because it has to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no other way of doing that. This can't be three, six. So it's one, two, four, or eight, the only possibilities that can go on a crop key dot. This can't be a one because then both of those would have to be a two. So something's going wrong. This can't be a one. If this is eight, that could work. I don't know why I said that was wrong because I am wrong. Now, this run of five dots is also got to be constrained because it's got to be one, two, three, four, five, surely, because um, I can't use the six. So if this is not one, two, three, four, five, what's it going to be? Two, three, four, five, six is broken, and then anything higher is going to use a six. So these are one and five. These are two and four, and this is a three. These are seven, eight, and nine. Um... Now, does that do anything over here? Because this is a run of five digits, but that can't be a three. So this can't be one, two, three, four, five, but I'm not sure that anything else is that restricted yet. Hmm. But this is a run of five digits. So if this is four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, that could work. But this is going to be restricted. So this is either 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because I can't go down. Because 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 is a problem. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 is a problem. And 8 has to go down. Because 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a problem. So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. What? Hmm. I am now confuzzled. I am very confuzzled. This is another run of five. I feel that this run of five is more important. Hang on a minute. Two, four. So this can't be two, four because that would break this. So this has to be one, two, or four, eight. So if this is one, two, this is the one, and this is the two. This is not a two. If it's four, eight, it could be in either order. But it can't be one. Oh no, it can be one, two, if this is four, five, and this is one, two. This is one, two, three. This is eight, four. There's something weird going on here, and I'm not sure what it is. I mean, is this polarity? Because I know those are even. These are odd. These are odd. These are all even. Right, there's an even on here, and there's an even on here. So these are both odd. I've got Odds in those, I've got evens on those. I mean, let's face these must be odd because I've got two evens here. There must be an even on that. So each consecutive dot has to have an odd and an even. So these are odd. There is an even on there. There is an even on there. So that gives me all of the evens. These are odd odd so these are even so this is two four or eight now this is one two that doesn't work this can't be a one if this is a one, I've got a problem because this would be a two, one, two. But if this is a one, this goes five, four, three, two, and I've broken it. This is not a one. So this is even. This is odd. But this had to be one, two, or four, eight. This can't be two, four, it breaks that. So this is not two. This is four, eight, which means this is two, this is one. This is four, this is five. There's no four here. Now two 
goes with one or three, which is okay. But I've got a two eight pair here now. And yeah, this is basically any or digit. Now this four looks down apparently making this six. I am gonna turn off the pencil mark checker. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, now that takes six out of there. Now this is not three anymore. So these are one, two, three, and nine. This is odd. And this is odd. I feel polarity was the place to look, but I'm still not sure what I'm doing with it. There's a two or an eight on this. This is more restricted now, surely, or this is. Hang on. This was restricted. If this is four, this is five. Okay, four, five. But this is eight, seven, six, five. So this can't be four. That That's a weird trick. This dot is nuts. Four, five, because it can't be four, three, because of that three. And then this becomes eight, seven, six, five, and I've got two, five. So this is actually the eight. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. These puts five in one of those two, but five is not consecutive with eight. So five is there. That becomes odd. This becomes even. This has to be four or six which means whatever is over here is two or eight. This, this is nuts. This is one or nine, and it's not one. This is nine. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The four makes this six. This now has one, two, or three, because it must have a two on it. And these, there's a seven in one of those. These are one, three, and seven. There's no one here. So there's a one in one of those three. Hang on, this is three or nine. Hang on, where's seven in this column? It's only there. This is three or nine. So there's no seven here. This is one, two, three, and the two must be here. So what the heck is that? It can't, this has to have an eight on it. Can't have two on it. Can't have six on it because it sees a six. And if it has a four on it, it needs to be three, four. I don't have a three or four, five, and I can't have a five. So this is eight, nine, because I can't do eight, seven, and it must have an eight on it. And I can't put nine on a black dot. This is eight, this is four, this is nine. Those are even, this is odd. That's nuts. This cup is consecutive with four and it's not three. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are odd. These are even. This is one, three, or nine. These are one, three, and nine. There's no three there. There's no nine there. This is now a two. This is now a two. So this is a one or a three. That has not changed the status of that at all. But four is in one of those two. Now four is there. Four, five, six, four, three. This would be four, five, six. Which looks possible. This is really cool and bonkers. I love easy uh, puzzles. 
that have really interesting deductions in them, and this definitely meets this that category or this that category. This goes with that. Seven looks up, meaning that's not seven. Seven is in one of those two. No, not eight. Seven can't even type. The nine looks up. This is actually the eight. So this is actually a seven nine. So this is even. These are ob. These are, or where, this is one two. This is a one two pair. And this is one two. Three. This is a four. This is even a four. Eight is in one of those two. Now, if this is eight, it's seven, six. Six is in one of those two. Now, if this is six, seven, eight, or five, four, that could work. This run of five has to be redonkulously powerful now, doesn't it? but I'm not seeing how. I mean, this can't be seven, eight, or nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is two, three, four, or five, because it can't be one, because those would both be two, and it can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. One, two, three, four, five, maybe? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. But I can't put five in those or four in those. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five does not work. This is not a two. Two, three, four, five, six doesn't work. So this can't be a three because I can't get to three from this way. Three, two, one. This is not a three. Wait a minute. This is weird. Three, four, five, six, seven doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five does. So if this is a four, it must go one, two, three, four, five. And if this is a five, four, five, six doesn't work. So it's two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be two, three, four, five, six. They're the only possibilities for this which is not what I expected at all, which means that is an eight. One of these has a four on it. One of them has an eight on it. So there has to be a four or an eight on this. So this, wait a minute. And that this is a four or, four or an eight because I have to put a four or an eight on this because I have to put an even and I can't use two or a six and I can't put, so this is odd. It sees two, four, six, and eight. This is odd. This is even. Four or eight. Eight would have to go eight, seven, six. Four, four, three, two, or four, five, six. So this is three, two, or whoops, or five, six. But there has to be a four and an eight on this. This also sees, yeah, this is the odd. These are both even. And this one sees two, four, and eight. This is the six. There you go. So this is either five or seven, and this is either four or eight. That's really cool. What do I do with that? I don't know. Five is in one of those two. By Sudoku. This is either two or six, is it that? Not that I can see. That, however, is not one, two, three, and it's not five, six, seven, eight, or nine. That's a four. 
I've got to put a two in one of those two. One of these is a two. Wait a minute, one of those is a two. Because it's either one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six. One of those is a two. So I've got two, I can't put two in here and I cannot put two down there. Have to put two down here and I've got two twos looking down. This is a two. So this is a six. So this is not a three. That's six. This is one or three, giving me a one, three pair, which I kind of had. This, there, there's a fundamental thing here I'm missing, I'm sure. Five, six, and seven go in there. There's a six, seven that makes this a five. That'll do it. That will do a lot of damage because that makes this four, this three, this two, this one, and this five. That's got to do some damage, right? Uh, right, that's not a three anymore. The one has made that the three. That's not a three anymore. This is a one, two pair. This is one, two? Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a one or a two and it sees a one. So this is the two. This is the one. This is the two. This is not the two. So those are even. This is odd. Let's put the triple in. Six, seven, and nine. There's no six there. There's no seven or nine there. This is the six. This is a seven, nine pair, which makes this the six and this the seven. Let's do some evening and some odding. Always got to do some odding. One, three, and nine go in there. That is not one. That is not three. Seven, nine. This one does a bit of damage. Two, three three and one. So that is even. These are odd. I could probably stop coloring. This makes this one and two. Um, 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 um. This is one or three. Two, yeah, I've got, oh, yeah, this is one or three, and there's a one looking at it. So three, one, that makes this three, which means this is not three. Every deduction is small, but fun. Um, four is in one of those two. And again, I've got eight in one of those two. That's a bit weird, but it does mean this is odd, which of course it is, because these are odd, and I've got all the evens in the rows. So this is five, seven, or nine, it's not seven. Sudoku I'm missing somewhere? Or is it a chain of something? Three and nine and one and nine are both odd. That's fine. This is odd. Right. This sees three, five. So this is seven or nine because it sees one, three, and five. This is seven, nine, giving me a seven, nine pair. This is the five. So this is a four. Uh, this is a three. Uh, the five looks down, making this seven. So this becomes eight. This is not eight. The seven makes this nine and this seven. The nine makes this five. This is now the four. It's the only place for it. So this becomes the even. This is now the nine, which is odd. Looks up making this the seven, which makes this the nine and this the seven. The nine also looks up making this the one and this the nine and this the one. I think I'm now down to a single box and the only place I can, I've got the four. That's not the four. This is the only place for the eight. So that becomes even. This should be Odd, and the digit I am missing is not all of them, is a nine, and that is category six, Eye of the Storm. That was a really cool, mostly consecutive dots puzzle.
That was really, really fun. Again, another lunch break puzzle, and I really like it when I get those. Those are a lot of fun. And it surprised me when it started off with this stuff in box five. I thought, yeah, really nice flow. And then all of this was like, yep, that's really cool. And that forced this pretty easily. And there was that really nice deduction by what this dot did up here. And it was like, and then I probably just missed something, but it then you like, okay, use what you found and make some tricky deductions. Probably just miss stuff. That's kind of what I do. Thank you everyone for watching um, and there'll possibly be some channel news coming up soon. Um, and yeah, as always, good luck with your solving.